my name is Uncle Ruckus, and I will be niggas sitting you two until your grandfather retires. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe and join my Patreon. It's only five dollars a month, and you get at least an extra video every week. Six thirty. Time for your bath. That is so wrong. Oh, she's George. I'm hungry. Hang on, uh, hang on. Today I'm going to be doing something new because it seemed highly requested. Uh, the Boondocks. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone, I have a brief announcement to make. Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Thank you for your time, and good night. No! That can't be true! Having that dream where you made the white people riot, weren't you? But I was telling the truth. How many times have I told you you better not even dream about telling white folk the truth? You understand me? Shoot. Making white people riot. You better learn how to lie like me. I'm gonna find me a white man and lie to him right now. All I ask you to do is act like you got some class. Hey, learn some math. This is a thing. The means like don't act like niggas. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. We don't use the N-word in this house. Granddad, you said the word nigga 46 times yesterday. I count. Nigga, hush. Now, you may not like it. It looks real. Can I have my gun back? <laughs> oh, son of a gun. A garden party? Yeah, boy. I might go buy some sandals and new underwear. Oh, you shot me. Granddad tried to assassinate me. Boy, right here. Okay, first of all, ain't nobody talking while I'm talking. So shut the... Up. My name is Uncle Ruckus, and I will be niggas sitting you two until your grandfather retires. Your granddaddy right? picked me because I am a licensed zoologist. I have studied a variety of wild animals, and the African male is by far the most savagely cunning. This is an opportunity to observe you niggas in your natural habitat and collect data. But be warned, whatever nigger trickery you got up your sleeves does not affect me. Oh my God, what should we do today? Board games, hula hooping, hot wheels? Oh, I know, maybe we should make s'mores. Tell ghost stories, play hide and go seek? Can we play cops and robbers? I would. Cops and robbers? Sounds like fun. Bitch, this all you got. Three dollars and a prepaid cell phone with fucking two minutes on it. So happy I'm not wearing glasses today. Hate to say, huh? Hate to say, what? Cause if you hate on me, you can't. This place is something. nasty. Clean it up. You ain't the boss of me, nigga. Hey, while granddad's gone, I'm in charge. Why do you get to be in charge? Why can't we take time? Cause I'm the older. Yeah, well, you also the gayest. So I think I should be in charge. Man, clean it up now. Just clean it up, bitch. Gotta figure out what we're gonna eat. <gasps> Can't you just be happy to see another nigga fit it up? Looking dipped in butter and shining and glistening. We're gonna run out of food in a few days, Riley. You supposed to be in charge. You supposed to be the leader. Lead us to some breakfast then, nigga. Nigga, what? Uh, what you want some nigga, huh? I right, come on, nigga, let's go. I've been waiting. No, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm grounding you. Ground me? What is this, family ties? Nigga, you can't ground me. I just did. That's Don't leave the house. This nigga must have lost it. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, I know I'm supposed to say some stuff, but I'm trying to figure it out. This nigga must have lost it. I want to know what this nigga been smoking. Shoot, talking about I'm grounded. I'm young Reezy. I goes where I want to go. Oh. You grounded. Oh. You better have eyes in the back of your head, nigga. Y'all was in Iraq together? Yeah, we was in Iraq. What did you do? We was looking for weapons of mass destruction. Did you ever find them? You know goddamn well we ain't find them. What are you, some kind of political humorous? You guarantee to up in this bitch? I was looking for bitches, but they had that cop all over them and I couldn't see what they looked like. All that was really exposed was the eyes and that wasn't enough for me because, you know, I'm looking at the eyes, the eyes to be pretty, and I take that carpet off and then I got a tragedy. Well, no, we ain't fine. But I always say the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Work here! Uh, work here! Uh, work here! Uh, best 
start talking, but I'm a... Hey, what do I do to you? Come yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga, run it. Run your shit. <laughs> Ain't nobody seen nothing. I know who did the killing. I've known for 20 minutes. Guy's name is Terrell Jackson. He's been bragging about it all day. Everybody knows. He lives five minutes away. I've got MapQuest directions right here. How'd you find all this out? We talk to people. I got a picture. Where you get this? I drew it from the description of the dude that they gave us while y'all was whooping niggas' asses in the street. I almost had time to color it. Yeah. I had no idea where that scene was going. I was like, I don't know what I'm watching anymore. I really don't. I don't understand what's happening. Um, but that was good. The build up, the confusion of you know, like, why am I here and I don't understand what I'm watching? Are these just really odd, peculiar friends that these kids are with? Like, they're so they're adults. I don't. I didn't get it. Um, but that was a good like wrap up of um, the, all they did is walk around and talk to people and their children and they figured it out. Um, it just there's. It says a lot. It says a lot. I get what they're saying. Um, so far, I do actually like it. I find it really entertaining, although it's um, like shocking. I do like the shock value. I find things that, uh, although sometimes more shocking than funny, are still really funny. Uh, and I hope that my shock doesn't make it seem like I'm appalled or anything. I do actually find it entertaining. I've just never seen it before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I like the dynamic between the two kids together because you do immediately start seeing which one is a little bit more level-headed than the other and um, I guess the older aspect comes into play. They're siblings so one of them obviously has this like I'm the leader, I'm the boss and I can tell you what to do, I'm better, I'm smarter probably comes up a lot. Uh, so I like the dynamic and also I like how it's drawn sometimes cartoons or animated stuff um, depending on how it's drawn will literally kind of just throw me off don't want to say any names, Bob's Burgers, but I will kind of stay away from something simply because I don't like how it's drawn. Don't even care if it's funny, will not watch it. I like how it's drawn. It almost is drawn as much as effort is put into um, anime, which I like anime. So it's drawn well, is my point. Also, I, please don't make fun of me. I'm so sorry and I'm so bad at names, but is it Samuel Jackson? It sounds like one of the guys um, in the passenger seat sounded just like him um but i'm really bad at names i'm terrible but it sounded just like him so i don't know if that's who it was watch where you walking nigga hey, hey what you say nigga watch closely you're about to experience a nigga moment webster defines the nigga moment as a moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical negro man what did you say bitch nigga Hey, squeeze it, nigga. Causing him to act in an illogical, self-destructive manner, i.e., like a nigga. <laughs> nigga moments are unpredictable. Hey, wait, man, wait. This is stupid. Hey, you right, dog. Look, let's put the guns away and go on about our business. Freeze! But they all end up bad. If they had their own category, nigga moments would be the third leading killer of black men behind pork chops and FEMA. It's a fact. You know, we could all be reading a book right now. Oh my. Caught me. Dang, Granddad, you had to kill him. And so, Granddad emerged from the nigger moment victorious. Congratulations, Robert. I told you a nigger that black couldn't fight. He Lord, was our please brother. Give us for taking this man's life. Why you say us? You killed him. Shut your ass and pray, boy. <laughs> Why did I line up with the music? Yeah, I, I did find it funny. I've never really reacted to... I can't think of a lot of similar things to it. I've tried to make comparisons to like Family Guy and South Park and then I forget that South Park just takes it to a different level. Um, and if I react to Family Guy enough, South Park will put me in a box where I'm like so shocked because they say things and make references and even curse 
just on a completely different level than Family Guy does, and uh, their references will get really deep and detailed. I feel that kind of similarly to this show. I can't really think of something that goes into the same pocket. There might be something out there, um, but based off of what I've heard before about the show, and like I've at least heard of it before, I haven't heard of anything ever being compared to it. So I like that some of the references or jokes that they've made in the show, um, they take it to like an intellectual uh, joke and that's why they make fun of it on like a I mean the guy even one of the kids even kind of took a step back as if he was talking to you and he was narrating the situation and so I find that as a comedic type of way of doing things I mean family guy has its cut scenes you know so that's like their it, I'm kind of picking up that that's their thing that they go for and I like it it's different if you haven't already check out all my links and I'll see you all next time